process done over with because once she's done done making milk I'll put her back with Lux if she starts making milk again I'll just separate her again but um, I want him to stop nursing so I'll show a few clips of that but yeah let's let's wean my six month old fool and be stressed out about it series it's not really a series because I'm gonna try to fit it all in one video but um, Luxor is officially like five months old he was an April 17th baby and it is the 28th of September so um, he's getting close to a six month mark which means it's weaning time um, so I'm in the midst of getting stuff repaired um, Diamond is, is underweight um, because she's one of the mare, she's a type of mare that she puts all of her nutrients into her milk. And so no matter how much I feed her, she just continues to look like crap because all of that nutrients goes to her milk. So Luxor is still nursing. So I need to get them weaned and get them taken care of so I can get Diamond back on track. So, um, if you, you guys, none of you guys know, I did plan on bring, uh, breeding Diamond again. But this second foal was going to be my breeders because that was part of the deal. Well, I've looked you and waiting for him to text me or call me or whatever, and I haven't. So I'm just going to move Diamond to my brother's house. So for that process, I've got to build fencing out of my brother's house to move Diamond over there. And the long run is I'm going to move all three of my horses over there for the time being so my property can grow some grass because there's like no grass out there. So, um,. I've got to get fencing. Well, I do have fencing, but I use it to separate Diamond Sahara for, during feeding time because Sahara gets a significant amount less than Diamond does. So 
so Diamond takes forever to eat. So um, I have to make sure that I fence off an area for Diamond so she can eat peacefully with Lux. And uh, so I gotta still keep a little bit of fencing for that. So I ended up doing this yesterday. So I ended up taking down the entire full out area that I built for Diamond. So I made it to the property and I'm actually starting to take a lot of the wiring off and then we're gonna start pulling T-post. I have three children literally surrounding me. Update, so, so far this is completely undone up to that T-post, child in the way. All my T-posts are right there. All of this is literally unwired and I'm working on this last pull right now, but then this child decided to be in the way. It's nine o'clock and I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night. I used to feed in here, but now I'm gonna feed in. So I have this one panel coming all the way over here to this T-post. And all of that's just the extra fencing that's connected to the back part that I'm just not gonna take apart. Now, if you want to, you just go in, if I can unhook, open that. And then I have all this area specifically to feed in, which they just got fed, so. And then we'll come back out and then just move this back in place, grab the hook and just snip it back in place. This is gone. It literally went all the way back here. And then all this is gone. Following the ditches where the barrel was at. There's some my extra fencing to the tree. And then all the way to the gate is gone. And I literally took out down like 90% of it including gate and everything. So all of that is gonna be moved to my brother's house, I think tomorrow. But um, I've got to, I'm, so I know this is kind of like controversial thing. So there's a lot of people, um, some people say you wean four to six months and you do it gradually or you rip it off like a band-aid. So the gradually process, if, no, if you don't know, I don't know who watches my videos. Um, the gradual process is you take away the marin full or you separate them for like an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. And then as time goes on, you gradually increase it until you keep them separated in general. And that's to create less stress for both marin full. But depending on the situation, depending on your household where your horses are at whatever there's also the like rip it off like a band-aid so with this one you basically just straight up clean cut take the mare away simple as that um some people do not like that one because it actually take it can actually be stressful for both mare and foal depending on and the reason i'm gonna do the tear like a band tear it off like a band-aid I'm doing the band-aid. Um, Diamond usually does her own thing all the time. I don't ever hear her call for Lux. Lux is the one that calls for her, but more than 90% of the time when I'm out there, Lux is literally hanging out with Sahara, doing his own thing. So he's eating on his own, he's drinking on his own, he's eating grass on his own. He's at that point where he does not need Diamond's milk. And Diamond needs the nutrients that she's putting in that milk. So it's weaning time. So that's exactly what this video is about is the weaning process. This is gonna be fun. We're in the trailer. He's already set back once, but he's fine. I literally just got off the gate. She's already pooping and off we go. Cause I'm actually a little bit behind. Thanks for your butt. I don't want your butt. Thanks for your butt. I don't want your butt. Scooch. The boy. No, you're not going anywhere, psycho. So I didn't record it because um, I was trying to pay attention to Lux, but I'm officially heading to my brother's house with Diamond, and Lux is at my property, and he's low key not very happy about what's happening. Diamond's somewhat not happy about what's happening, but I'm sure once I get her to my brother's house and get her some feed, she probably won't care. So um, I have my neighbor notify that I'm doing this, so he's gonna keep an eye on Lux for me, but we're officially weaned. 
We're here at my brother's house. She's eating, I'm filling up water troughs. She's gonna eat this area for a day and then we'll move her over there. But um, she's basically just hanging out here so I can build a fence line on that back line. But we're officially separated. 